Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. It's not Alex's vlog anymore, it's mine. Yeah, what's the thing? One hour. Una hora. Find out in the end of this video if Bobby made it out alive. Anyways, here's a little travel vlog from April when I visited Vincent in Ohio. If you didn't know, I'm in a long distance relationship and I spend some time in Cincinnati. If you're also a fan of Lee Ellickson, you might recognize where I'm at. As promised, I'm highlighting Miffy Town located in Kentucky. I'll also try to include some other stuff that happened between April and May. Cue the nature scene! In 2019, I traveled to France for an artist residency and there I met my friend and art mom, Cynthia. She lives pretty close to Cincinnati, so we decided to meet up in person and go to the Cincinnati Art Museum. It was nice to catch up in person after calling each other for the past two, three years. <laughs> I gotta show everyone my Miffy fit. I don't even know if this is in focus. Oh, there we go. Hi. We are going to Miffy Town. As you can tell, I was very excited to visit Miffy Town. It is located in Williamstown, Kentucky, and was founded by a local family that are Netherland natives with fond childhood memories of Miffy. I felt so goofy, but honestly, it was so sweet. The shirt I wore was actually from my childhood, and I hope to one day visit the Miffy Museum in Utrecht. This is what I know about Miffy. Miffy navigates the world as a young child would with a keen sense of curiosity and unbridled optimism as she and her friends embark on new adventures of discovery. <laughs> the Miffy on the moon! What? Oh, oh no! How many things did I get at the movie store? Three. Yeah. <laughs> These are gifts.
just got back from my Ohio trip a couple days ago. Originally, I was supposed to come home on Saturday, but my flight got delayed by like three hours until they eventually just canceled it. And fortunately enough, um, I was able to book a cheaper flight for the for Monday and I went back to Vincent's house before they could even cancel the flight. Um, but unfortunately, so I was getting sick on Saturday before my flight and I thought I was just having a cold or like allergies and I was just very congested and I slept for like two days until I had to leave on Monday and the following Tuesday when I got back I tested positive for COVID. I've been in kind of like goblin mode listening to Potion Shop Cooking Place Ambiance 6 hours for focus and relaxation just so that I can feel, you know, relaxed. Um, I'm on my bed right now, so it's almost nap time. But uh, I've been working on this piece that I originally sketched out in like 2021, 2020, but never got around to painting it. So I'm hoping to get that done um, and kind of show some progress um, and also share some of my Ohio trip with you guys um, but yeah thanks for for coming to my my next art vlog uh, mask up friends cuz this shit is gnarly At the beginning of May, I was asked to be a judge for an AAPI Heritage Month exhibition. This particular piece was my favorite because of the traditional Indian art style. There was a range of elementary school students to professional adult artists with all very beautiful work. Let's timeline hop and watch a montage of some other things I did while I was in town. I hope that you caught me at this year's Creative Clash. Today is July 27th. It's a Thursday. It's a little cloudy outside today and I'm a little sleepy as per usual. I am thankful that you made it to the end of another art vlog with me. I did make that Alice in Wonderland video if you haven't checked it out yet and I got a little burnt out uh, honestly. So most of this vlog is from April when I went to go visit uh, Vincent in Cincinnati and of course there was a lot of things that's happened since April but 
uh, I kind of took a break from filming content because I was filming constantly and I'm like, oh, I haven't even caught up yet. So um, now I'm kind of just recapping what's happened the past couple of months. Um, back on Instagram too, because the this month, July, I moved my best friend Grace up to Boston. And when I got back, Vincent came to visit me here in Orlando too. And I'm getting back into the groove of things um, and feeling more motivated again. Um, I was like struggling with imposter syndrome and some just personal things, like including my mom kind of selling the my restaurant or our restaurant and um, just processing a lot of like life stuff. Uh, but now I'm here and ready to embrace my art again. I have been applying for jobs, um, but I still have the little voice in my head that's like, you can do art full time and freelance, and if I just try hard enough, I feel like I'll get to where I need to be going. Cause I feel like this is what I'm truly meant to do. And um, I also hope that my friends feel like if they try hard enough like it's also what they're meant to do I know a lot of my friends are creative so I'm I'm babbling on a little bit and even if we have to get regular jobs we'll still have the energy to create because that's what we're meant to do and that's what we want to share with the world um so I would like to leave you with a reading to wrap up this video. Um, it's been a second since I touched my fairy deck. Uh, also, the weather has been really bad here um, in Florida for markets because the heat as well as uh, rainstorms every day. So it's kind of hard to be an outdoor vendor right now. Um, so if you haven't checked out my online store yet, please do. I'm still working on the Alice in Wonderland deck. Please do not come at me. I'm, I'm trying my darndest. But let's see what message we have for us all. Oh, beauty. This is the card that I pulled last time, but I had to redo this video because I... I'd be filming all over different timelines. So beauty is talking about embracing your inner and outer beauty. I guess it's kind of relevant because Barbie has just come out. Let me know if you've watched it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really loved America Ferreira. I think she is a wonderful actress. Um, Beauty means appreciate and amplify your natural attractiveness. Your beauty is most apparent when you're happy and satisfied. The affirmation is my inner and outer selves are radiantly attractive right now. I love my beautiful self. So if you are struggling with um, any kind of body image or... I think if you're struggling to see the beauty in the world right now um, because things can seem so evil, uh, take a step back, smell the flowers, light an incense, drink your water, um, and just like recenter with yourself and you know, maybe think about what has been making your life beautiful lately. Thanks for coming to another art vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Um, and check out my online store, moonsang.square.site. Support your local artists. Bye for now. Bobby says he wanted to be oh, in the no. vlog. No. <laughs> We're putting him in the vlog again. This is Bobby. Hi.